And it's welcome back, Hamish Dodd. Hello, team. <laughs> I've missed you. I know, I've missed you. Well, I haven't really, because I've listened to you in the mornings. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> so I was like, oh, there's Poor Mike. <laughs> He's been there the whole holiday. Don't worry, I listened to you as well, and I loved your, like, can cooling device. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's an in-joke, which we shouldn't really go too much yeah, into. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Oh. No, actually, hey. actually, can I just say, while we're here, Dob, before we get into your, to your segment, yes. you know, all of us here at the cafe had to put up with Mel posting these incredible pictures. I know, the holiday boat oh, pictures. Holiday, yes, I know, the whole entire... Holiday. I was Great inside, holiday. the wind was howling, and I'm going, oh, look at the lake. It looks like it's Antarctica, <laughs> and there's Mel on a boat. Oh, yeah. look, hey, there's no wind. It's still. Oh. How, how long were you on that boat for? Three weeks. It was absolutely amazing. Oh. It was just the most brilliant holiday. I was very lucky. Bay of Islands, just mwah, beautiful. Oh. Mm. Anywho, let's talk about trends, shall we? <laughs> yes, we shall. <laughs> talk about what you're actually here for. Oh, my goodness. Okay, here's the thing. Okay. This year, the colour will be green, okay? Wow, okay. Which, I mean... But you were green with we, we, We've seen a bit of green around, okay? It's been used, and... Um, but what I'm going to have a little chat to you about is, obviously, we know we can bring green in with plants. Yes. Hello, we're sitting in a set full of them. This is new. Very really like nice. Them? I do. Yes, so, well, Jasmine and I, we've um, we've updated the colours, so we've gone more vibrant with them. We've even bought some, uh, some flowering plants in to bring some reds and some pinks and yellows and bits and pieces into the foliage as well. So... This is where we're kind of heading, okay? Right. The kind of greens that we're going to be seeing are more emerald greens, okay? Now, you don't just have to have lots of houseplants because you may be someone who kills them. <laughs> time to time, I'll yeah. admit it. Some were looking a little lacklustre around the homestead that I hadn't provided for the holiday season for. <laughs> you can bring it in many ways, okay? First of all, of course, there's paint, okay? So you can paint all sorts of things in your home. You can paint bits of furniture. You can paint walls. Oh, now, that's good. Wall colours. There we go. So that is a prime example of a brighter green. Yeah, that's okay? a vibrant green. That's yeah. a vibrant green that may not be everyone's cup of tea, so you can certainly deepen things up if you want, moving into your... There's a green for all. Mm -hmm. Shall we say it like that? Yeah. Okay. Now, actually, I've written on my sweet little bit of paper here three greens that I quite like. They're resine ones. Chelsea Cucumber. you just got to like that just for the name, name really. Yes. Um, elixir. Resine Elixir uh, and Resine Nature. Well, I guess that kind of sums things up for you. What do we got screen? Okay, here's the other thing you can do. You can, using your paint, you can sort of upcycle objects. So you can paint things like uh, your lampshade. Okay. Maybe you've got an old lamp that was last year's colour. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Paint that out white, do something interesting with it. Nice. You know, you've got to be a bit craftsy and artsy for that. See, Jasmine could do that. We're, see, look at that. I would ruin that in five minutes. But nonetheless, you can have a go. Okay. Wow, well, there's nothing to lose, really, is there? Other areas to bring out yeah. greens in. We can do things with wallpaper. Now, just because it green, it's green, it doesn't mean it has to be a plant pattern. Okay. Right. You can do something oh, yeah. geometric, nice. right? So that you can bring green in in other ways. We're going to show you some plant kind of wallpapers too, I'm sure. Yeah, that's the, I like that wallpaper there. I bet you do. I like that too. It's fancy. No, it that's is. Very good. But you can see also it comes into fabric. Oh, we like this, Kate. This is wallpaper but it's put into picture frames. So it's cost-effective piece of artwork. Also, when it's dated, because things do, off it goes. Right. I'd like to say we'll swap it out for another kind of wallpaper, but hey. And yeah. that'll help to keep the theme through, where, you know, the area. So you can well, have, you know, a hallway the done. Yeah, and then yeah. some artwork in the lounge. You're bringing yeah. the goods today. Well, we're trying, you know. It's the first show back, so we must dazzle. So I want to talk about why you've got a pair. Okay, fabric. Right, well, this, very talented Jasmine made this into a cushion for me because I was like, I want some nice cushions on the set. And she knew exactly what I was after, as she does. So this is an example of where fabrics have gone. You can see the greens that are in it. Yep. There are still neutrals running through them. They're more earth in their tones. And over here, we can see how the pastels are more vibrant. It's still mm. a pastel orange, but it's brighter. So are the pinks. Yeah. Okay. I'm, a, I'm an example, aren't I? Or you are, you yeah. are. You, it's a pastely pink, well, but it's pretty. brighter. Okay, that's where fabrics are going. You can see the trend. Wow, yeah, no, it's, it's becoming very clear which direction it's heading into. I really like it, though. It's quite earthy. There's your use of cushions. Once again, green, but not plant print. If you're not into the plant thing, you, there's plenty of other options for you. Wow. Okay, so if green isn't your jam, it will become your jam. But what Well, I think it, it really has to, doesn't it? Yeah, but there are other colours that are on trend as well. Well, there are. I mean, this is the thing. Okay, so there's... Uh, we'll, we'll call them... You know, your, your gem kind of colours, all right? Oh. Okay, so if you are looking for a red, we're looking for a ruby red. If we're looking for a green, it's an emerald green, blue, sapphires. Mm -hmm. Anyone else want to throw some gem stones at me? <laughs> no, because I look silly. Am amethyst <laughs> yellow, perhaps? Is amethyst yellow? I believe it's That's a why I didn't want to throw some at you. <laughs> or, yeah, you can have an opal. So you can have that, that turquoise tealy blues. So that's the kind of way. So you know those strong sort of poppy colours? Not fluorescent, but rich and earthy still. 
Oh, I love the sound of that. And do you, mi do you mix it up, though? I mean, you know, if well, you've you got can. green wallpaper, do you have a little pop of emerald blue somewhere? Well, see, I have no problem with you doing that and right. bringing it in, because most of these colours are going to sit fine together, because green's such a lush sort of backgroundy sort of colour that you can pick the one that you perhaps like as your sort of pop in your accent. emerald blue, though? There's no such thing. No. Oh, but yeah. there's emerald green. And when yeah. you oh, want, you mean mine. You know what I mean? Oh, so <laughs> So you, you can come and decorate the house, <laughs> yeah. Hamish. OK, so wallpaper is a good way to get colour in. Wallpaper is. Fabrics, you can do fabrics, painting your lamps. That's exactly right. I mean, you can paint uh, paint your furniture too. Right. Uh, I mean, the, the, you know, if you've got some old cane furniture, I quite like that because it was cane yeah. sort of conservatory green. Here we go. Okay. You know, we might bring the cane back. Yeah. Well, somebody Probably with those big, those big chairs with the big backs like that. Let's D do that. That divine. was so good. Hey, that was actually really. I don't want to sound surprised. That was really enlightening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, as I said. Am, am I allowed to give you my little tip? I, I have a life hack. Give us a quick tip. Okay, quick tip. Okay, now I was told this tip, so I'm plagiarising greatly. Um, my, 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 my dear lovely Anita, she, she left her tanning stuff, you know, that the woman folk have, yeah. on the edge of the enamel bar. Yeah. Yes. Left a little ring. Oh, no. Dear no. goodness, could I clean it to save myself? No. I was told, don't just use GIF on it, probably not a great idea anyway, but put the GIF, squeeze it on, you know, a, a lot of it, yes. over the stain, leave it overnight, then wipe it off, completely gone. Well, there you go. So you can't scrape, you can do it on a white full mica bench too. That's really good, but you took ages to get to that tip, you need to work on getting your tips out quicker. Thank you so much Hamish, we love what you've done with the place.